Hello, I'm Bernie Leaving, Congregational Care Pastor here at Palmasia United Methodist. I trust that you all had a safe July 4th and that you in some way celebrated our 240 years of heritage as a nation and that you gave thanks to God for our freedoms. Welcome to this week's prayer cast. A few weeks ago, as I browsed through my bookshelves at home, I saw a tiny little book almost hidden by the normal sized ones on each side. I pulled it out and immediately recognized it as Bishop Reuben Job's Three Simple Rules, a Wesleyan way of living, which he published in 2007. The rules are also included in the general rules of the Methodist Church in our Book of Discipline. In his writing, Bishop Job takes the reader back to 1739 and John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement. That year, several people went to Wesley seeking advice and counsel about their spiritual lives and asking Wesley to spend time with them and pray with them. Thus was born what came to be known as the United Society, made up of classes of no more than 12 people who met weekly to hold each other accountable in their faith walk, to pray together, and to help each other as they work to be more faithful disciples of Jesus. Wesley gave only one condition for inclusion in a class, and I quote, a desire to flee from the wrath to come and to be saved from their sins, end of quote. Wesley then said there were three rules by which all who continued in this journey should live. Even though they date from the 18th century, the three rules are contemporary for the world in which we live today. Hopefully, they would be lived out not only by Methodists. They are applicable for all who are trying to live up to the calling to be faithful to the calling as children of God. And I dare say, what a different world we would live in if they were lived out not only by individuals, but by institutions and government at all levels. The first of what Bishop Job called three simple rules is do no harm. Under that heading, Wesley gave 17 examples of things that were generally practiced that should not be, including taking the name of God in vain, drunkenness, slaveholding, fighting, quarreling, brawling, brother going to law with brother, returning evil for evil, the giving or taking of things in usury or unlawful interest, laying up treasure upon earth, and the doing to others as we would not they should do unto us. When what we say and do is guided by this first rule, we would live more faithful personal lives and our world would be more just and peaceful, whether in family, local church, or denomination, whether in local school or great universities, whether in city, county, state, or national government. If we work to do no harm, none of our actions would injure or hurt another of God's children or any of God's creation. We would see each person regardless of any difference from us as a child of God, loved unconditionally by God, even as we are. The divorce rate would drastically drop. There would be less stress and brokenness between parents and children. All children and youth would have equal opportunity for a good education. We would not be detaining undocumented immigrants who have not committed a crime in for-profit jails in which 155 persons have died since 2003. Within our partisan politics, there would not be the divisiveness, the disrespect, and the disparagement that diminishes those who disagree with us. We would cease deforestation, fracking, and polluting our lands, sea, and sky. As we do no harm individually, the broken, complex, always changing, confusing world around us would be drastically transformed and healed. Wesley's second rule is do good. Wesley called for doing good of every possible sort, including feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, by visiting the sick and those in prison. The living out of this rule may be even more difficult than do no harm. 
for it requires a way of life that commits to seeking good for everyone with whom we come in contact and everyone in God's world. Do good was lived out last week by our adult medical mission team in Haiti and is being lived out right now by our senior high youth and leaders in their mission trip to Haiti. Our mid-high mission trip to Savannah, Georgia next month will do the same thing. In our twice monthly work at Faith Cafe, when we go to Metropolitan Ministries, and when we work in the Church Women United Closed Closet downtown, do good is being lived. Sometimes do good is more difficult as an individual than as a faith community because it challenges each of us personally to put ourselves out there, to take stands seeking the best for all God's children. We can decide to do good to and for all, even those who disagree with us, and even though others may ridicule us for our stand. And of course, do good means we take appropriate care of ourselves, living healthy and productive lives. The third simple rule is stay in love with God. Wesley called it attending upon all the ordinances of God. We don't use the word ordinance as Wesley did here. In our vernacular, we would say practice all the spiritual disciplines that keep us in a vital, alive relationship with God. Wesley listed them. Attend worship, read and study scripture, receive Holy Communion, practice personal and family prayer, and fast or abstain. They are the practices which enable us to live more faithful lives. Bishop Job said it is in these practices, these disciplines, that we, quote, learn to hear and respond to God's direction, that we learn to trust God as revealed in Jesus Christ, that we learn of God's love for us, and that it is where our love for God is nurtured and sustained, the end of his quote. Well, there they are. Three simple rules for living out of our faith in such a way that our world will be changed. They're not easy to do. However, we do not walk the path alone. God is with us to give us the courage, the strength, the endurance to do no harm, to do good, and to stay in love with God. Today is the day for you to begin what perhaps is a new way of living, to make these three simple rules the foundation of how you will live each day. Let us pray. Lord God, we hear the challenge to which you call us through the work and words of your servant, John Wesley. May we respond in faith with our minds and hearts to this new way of living. Do no harm. Do good. Stay in love with God. Amen. God bless the rest of your week as you make these rules your choice for life each morning. See you in church Sunday.